This is First Contact, Stories of the Call Center. Do you have any in particular journeys or stories that you experienced or that you saw in the industry of how people took something from an, oh my gosh, we have to do blank. And then it became something that afterwards was like, wow, we survived. Is there any type of transitions or stories or things that really you said resonated with you during that time period of survival and making things work? We talk about COVID all the time, of course, because we're still involved with it, right? We're still, today we're dealing with COVID. Um, but I think, I think when you talk about the, the stories that have transpired, there's a, a couple of things. First of all, it is a reaffirmation that we are a resilient industry. When you go back to 1978 with the introduction of the Fair Debt Collection Practice Act, people today that are engaged in the industry, in the arm industry, forget about that. They weren't around back then, right? They heard about the creation of the law. The sky was falling back then, uh, as it was with the creation of the Fair Credit Reporting Act and HIPAA. I remember the highest attendance that the industry ever had at some of the ACA meetings when HIPAA was coming about because the sky is falling, right? At where we won't be in business anymore. And I think companies that are intuitive enough realize that this is a challenge and my gosh, this could go badly, but what do we need to do as an industry to ensure that we're gonna move forward? And for the traditional owners of agencies, the thought that we would have collectors working from home, sales maybe, management on occasion, but frontline collectors working from their bedroom, corner desk, with a monitor and a, and a telephony like, like you folks offer, uh, that can't possibly work. And we've surprised ourselves, so much so. The stories I'm hearing is that companies are so much better today than they were two years ago. They, uh, they had to embrace technologies to survive, and now they realize that technology is going to take them the next step with their, uh, with their organization. And so I think moving forward, what we've learned is that we have a more empathetic approach. Uh, we, we deal with consumers in different ways, and it's okay to have cons uh, collectors working from home. And we'll, most companies I've talked to will continue to do so. It'll be, I think it'll be a hybrid. I, I don't think the companies in general will go 100% remote work, but I think you'll have that hybrid where you know, some of them are, some of them aren't, some of them come in for a day or two a week to the office and stay home. And it, it's opening incredible opportunities. I, I can't tell you, uh, and I know every agency owner operator out there listening to this can lament the collector, their top collector that they lost because their significant other got transferred and they moved across the country. We lost so many good people because they couldn't work for you when they left your town in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, where I live. But today you can maintain that relationship because they, they can work, uh, work remotely. So that, I think, is the biggest story I've been hearing. So everything from great success stories where companies are, are, are pounding it and doing it fantastically and, and, and not only surviving, but really thriving. They're a better organization. And then you have on the other end of the spectrum, the company that I talked to back in uh, the beginning of December that was kind of lagging getting on our platforms for a long time because they were so busy. And I jokingly said, listen, I understand. I'm sure you have been immersed to your eyeballs with Reg F. And they, their response was, what is Reg F? And I laughed because of course that's the joke, right? We all know what Reg F is. They literally had not heard of the CFPB's regulation now. And I don't know how it is impossible, how it's possible to have your head that far into the sand to not know because of all the great news sources that we have, even the, the great work that you folks do with, with your NobleBiz platforms. Uh, there's so much education out there. So interesting to me, you've got the acceleration of companies and the thriving and companies that just aren't in tune. But that same thing happened with the introduction of HIPAA and FCRA and the FDCPA, not everyone's an early adopter, not everyone pays attention. Uh, the companies that will be around five years from now are those that are paying attention, are doing and making changes that they need to. You know, I've often said over the years of a, a quote, uh, uh, 
change is um, guaranteed, uh, growth is optional. Uh, so we know, right, uh, that that there is going to be change every day, particularly in our industry. Uh, but not everybody grows. Uh, you can survive the old way and you can survive the new way. It's the transition that'll kill you. That's another one that I've always loved. Uh, think about it. You know, if you can make it through that transition and you come out that other side, you can be such a better organization, despite how difficult that transitional stage might be.